Hey guys, uh, welcome to your January 2023 prediction reading for Leo. This could be in any replacement. So we're gonna, uh, because uh, yeah, this reading could be in anything, nothing specific. We're just gonna see what the cards have to say. So we're gonna take a look and see what you guys need to know for January 2023, okay? Uh, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about Leo for January 2023. What is surrounding Leo for January 2023? What does Leo need to know for January 2023? All right, we have the Fool. So Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. Could you? So you could have any of those energies in your chart, okay? We have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I just feel like going into 2023, you know, especially January, I just feel like you're in this energy of wanting to enjoy life more. Really taking more opportunities, more chances to really, uh, you know, have new experiences. You know, just do different things and new things and really just in this energy of going with the flow here, okay? Let's see what else we have. We have the four of swords here and the fool again. This, this deck has two fool cards and two death cards. So, you know, I just feel like there's an energy of really sort of like zenning out. Yeah, really just zenning out and just kind of like going with the flow. And like I said, taking things as it comes, not stressing, being too stressed out about, you know, outcomes or anything like that and just kind of going with the flow here, okay? Um, we have the Five of Swords here and the Devil here. You know, I feel like this is the type of energy that you don't want to deal with. This uh, energy of uh, people being competitive, being hurtful, being toxic, I just feel like you're stepping away from that, okay? I just feel like you don't want to be around that anymore, uh, Leo. Five of, uh, Five of Swords and the Devil Capricorn energy, the Fool here. The Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, I just feel like, you, basically I feel like, you know, you know, there's an energy of sort of like really taking off the rose color, colored glasses here, you know, taking off those blinders and really taking that almost like a blind leap of faith in a way. That's, well, you're, you know, it's kind of like, okay, so you're keeping, you're keeping, you're keeping those blindfolds on okay and it's sort of like one of those things of you know you're going to take a leap and you know wherever you land it's just going to be okay yeah tell me about the four of swords here give me the six of cups the fool here and the page of pentacles you know as you start moving along on your journey i do feel like the past is going to try and come back but i just feel like for you i just feel like the past is something that you do want to leave behind Okay, someone here could be making an apology, making you an offer or something like that. Okay, um, I'm getting that, you know, this is also a past job here too. Let's say you went to an interview, okay, and you know, you thought that you were going to get like an offer and they never gave you an offer and they feel like they're coming back around to give you this offer. Okay, page of pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Five of Swords, we have Judgment here, Sagittarius energy, and then the Chariot, Cancer energy here. Yeah, it just seems like, you know, regarding like, this is interesting. I feel like, you know, I feel like there's a past opportunity that's coming back around. And it could be that, you know, it could be like a very competitive field. It could be, you know, a very toxic work environment or that you dealt with many toxic work environments before and you, you don't want to do that again. So I feel like it could be like, you know, 
You could be starting something completely new or you're not working, you know, a nine to five situation anymore. Yeah. So I'm with the devil. Oh, that's too many. The devil and the ace of wands. You know, this could be indication that maybe someone from your past is trying to come back and trying to jump in bed with you, looking for reconciliation. But it just seems like, you know, there's no chance in hell that you're going back. Yeah. Um, tell me about to anything that's basically no longer serving you. Anybody, anything. What else does uh, Leo need to know here? What else does Leo need to know here? What else does Leo need to know for January 2023? What else does Leo need to know for January 2023? We have the Death card here and the Moon. Death card, Scorpio energy, the Moon, Cancer, and Pisces energy. We have the Three of Cups here and the Queen of Cups. You know, I feel like for January 2023, I, just, I feel like you're going to put yourself out there again. You know, meet new people, meet new friends, you know, hang out with your friends or something like that. You know, I do feel like for the month of January, you're going to be going through like a major transformation here. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like you're also really tapped into your intuition at that time too. Your senses are heightened, your intuition's heightened here. Okay. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Hangman here, Piscean Energy, and the Page of Swords. So I feel like, you know, I feel like you're really learning to take a step back here and sort of like, you know, gather all the information that you need here in order to take for you to sort of like take the next steps in your life here. OK, so this is so interesting with the page of swords here. You know, I just feel like you guys are learning mindfulness practices. So I feel like you might be learning how to meditate here or something like that when it comes to uh, the, uh, January. Could be like a New Year's resolution that you guys are kind of like pursuing here when it comes to that. Hangman, Piscean Energy, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Hermit here, Virgo Energy, and the Moon and the Knight of Wands here. So one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're conquering a lot of fears here. Yeah, there's an energy of definitely going for it, taking action here, okay? Um, perhaps some of you guys are, are doing deep shadow work here. Uh, maybe this is something that you put off for a very, very long time because you were scared of what would come up, but I feel like you're ready to face whatever is coming towards you, Leo. Three of Cups here and the Five of Wands. Queen of Cups here and the Two of Pentacles here. You know, um, I do feel like there are a group of friends here that is like, causing a lot of conflict in your life and they feel like you're trying to figure out what to do here so when it comes to that you know if you don't know what to do sometimes you know it's best to kind of take a pause and, and kind of take a step back uh, and then you know when you know what to do then kind of take action uh, but I just feel like you're just really confused about a, a friend group here okay or just people around you uh, uh, the hangman we have the king of pentacles page of swords and the ace of cups here okay Seems like there's new love that's coming in towards you. Yeah. So I just feel like there are new good things that are coming into your life here. King of Pentacles could be dealing with an earth sign here. Whoever this is, I feel like you might be, you know, meeting this person online or something like that or talking to this person online. And, you know, um, you know, whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that's really solid and really thinking long term here. OK, so a uh, Leo. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.